pressure in gases each and every state of matter a uh, matter either it is solid liquid or gas they are going to exert pressure when we are going to contain in the container so as we know solid are also exerting pressure liquids are also exerting pressure when contained in a container in a similar way gases are also gases particles are also going to exert pressure when they are going to contained in any container so pressure exerted by gases on the body each and every gaseous particles are also are going to exert pressure when they are going to come in contact with any body next we are having atmospheric pressure as we know we are living in a blanket of air and this blanket of air is known as atmosphere so this air particles are also exerting pressure above us and this pressure exerted by the air column above us is known as atmospheric pressure now our question is how to measure the atmospheric pressure means how much atmospheric pressure is applying on us by the atmosphere might be you are not knowing that when we are standing in a simple standard atmospheric pressure so the particles which are present in the air that part particles are exerting pressure on our body okay and do you know the particles which are exerting pressure on us that that pressure is exactly equal to the pressure exerted by one elephant which is sitting on your head same pressure here these particles are also exerting same pressure on us and the when elephant is sitting on your head exact same amount of pressure is also here also okay but why we are not feeling this much kind of pressure because the blood pressure is also there because in our inside arteries veins are there so that blood is also exerting pressure on our body and same amount of pressure is exerting outside also air particles on us so net effect is going to cancel out each other that is why we are not feeling that much kind of air pressure or air like uh, particles uh, particles of air to us now how to measure the atmospheric pressure so the instrument named barometer with the barometer we are going to measure the atmospheric pressure diagram of barometer is like this in a barometer we are using a mercury so how to use this barometer see carefully actually in a barometer we are using two instrument first we are having this kind of in you know, a tube and second we are having this trough trough or beaker you can say firstly what you have to do you have to take one test tube so in the test tube you have to fill it with mercury so this test tube we are going to fill it with mercury when you will fill all the test tube with mercury then air particles which are present inside this test tube the particles will come out so inside no air particle is there so you have to just put your thumb on it and just by putting the thumb so that no air particles can move inside put your thumb and take it and put inverted into the trough of mercury okay when you will put inverted in a trough of mercury then what will happen see carefully actually due to the weight of mercury mercury will move downside mercury is going to move downside due to acceleration due to gravity and weight of mercury and when mercury is going to move downside here vacuum is going to create because as we know we no here air particle is there in this inverted test tube no air particle is there okay so here vacuum is created and but outside air particles are there means outside atmospheric pressure is higher but inside atmospheric pressure is less so these atmospheric pressure will like uh, force the mercury to move upside these atmospheric pressure particles these higher pressure will force the mercury to move upside because each and every substance move from higher pressure to the lower pressure but from the out but from the upside mercury weight will send the particles downside mercury will send mercury weight will send the mercury downside so that it may move downside and when level will come one at one point one level will come when neither mercury will move upside neither uh, or mercury will move downside okay so this level this height attained is 76 cm so at 76 cm mercury is going to stop at one point so if you want to convert this 76 cm into meter then you can write it like this also 0.76 meter okay so height attained by mercury is this now on the next slide i will tell you how to like use it how to find the standard atmospheric pressure with this gadget okay so the standard atmospheric pressure we are going to find by using the formula that is here we are going to use the standard atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure in order to find we are going to use the formula h rho g this is also formula if might be numericals will come to you so the same formula you have to use atmospheric pressure or pressure exerted on the atmosphere is equals to h rho g where h is the height attained by mercury this height attained 
रो इज द डेंसिटी डेंसिटी ऑफ मर्करी वट इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ मर्करी दैट वैल्यू हेयर वी हैव टू पुट एंड जी इज द एक्सलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी जी वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर दिस वी विल सी द डेंसिटी ऑफ मर्करी देन वी विल सी द हाइट अटेन नाउ जस्ट पुट द वैल्यूज हेयर फॉर्मूला ऑफ एटमोस्फियरिक प्रेशर इज एच रो जी हाइट अटेन्ड बाई मर्करी इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स सेंटीमीटर डेंसिटी ऑफ मर्करी इज थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस पावर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई एक्सलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी इज कॉन्स्टेंट नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर जस्ट राइट द वैल्यू हेयर नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर दिस वैल्यू यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एंड डेंसिटी ऑफ मर्करी इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दिस वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू यू विल सॉल्व ऑल द like digits then you will get 1.013 into 10 to the raised power 5 pascal so standard atmospheric pressure is approximately 1 into 10 to the raised power 5 pascal this is the standard value of atmospheric pressure which we are going to use okay next we are having variation of atmospheric pressure so what do you mean by variation variation means how the atmospheric pressure is going to change from place to place so first we are having atmospheric pressure is more at sea level sea level means when we are going deep inside the like earth when we are moving down and down towards the earth down and down particles are coming very close to each other okay when particles are coming close to each other means these particles are exerting more and more pressure and due to exerting more and more pressure here deep at the sea level atmospheric pressure is very much high but as we are moving to higher and higher altitude at higher altitude particles are going to expand due to expansion particles are moving away from each other away away means these particles are exerting very less pressure on our body and very less pressure means here atmospheric pressure is less okay so at sea level at sea level atmospheric pressure is more and at the higher altitude atmospheric pressure is less next we are having next variation in a calm weather during winter season during winter season as we know during winter season particles are cool up due to cooling the particles are come close to each other so due to closing particles when particles are very close to each other means they are going to exert more and more pressure on our body so in a winter season atmospheric pressure is high but during the stormy summer season summer season means particles are away from each other due to heat particles expand up and particles move away from each other due to expansion in the air particles these particles will put less pressure on our body and due to less pressure atmospheric pressure during stormy summer day is very much less as compared to winter days okay next topic we are going to see effects of atmospheric pressure now we are going to study that what are the effects of atmospheric pressure in our daily life so first we are having liquid rises in syringe when piston is pulled up so in this kind of injection when we are having the bottle of medicine this medicine will move from this bottle into the syringe when piston is moved backward so why this uh, medicine move for example here piston is in this position when piston is in this position means all the air particles are trapped in this position okay particles are trapped means particles are very close to each other when particles are very close to each other means they are exerting more and more pressure so when piston when piston is in this point here pressure inside the syringe is high but when we will move the piston when piston is going to move back side whatever the particles are trapped here that all particles will take up the space and all particles will move away from each other when particles move away from each other means they will exert less pressure now in this case the pressure inside the syringe is very much less but as you can see outside the pressure outside the syringe here also outside and inside the bottle also pressure is high and as we know liquid or any substance will always move from higher pressure to that of lower pressure so in the same way whatever liquid is present inside this bottle that liquid will move from higher pressure to that of lower pressure that is why liquid always rises in a syringe when piston is pulled back side okay next effect of atmospheric pressure we are having ink get fills in a fountain pen as we have studied that liquid can easily filled into a syringe by using the atmospheric pressure with the help of atmospheric pressure in the similar manner ink can also get filled in a fountain pen so here what we are going to do in order to fill the ink into a fountain pen we will take the pen with a nib here and we will put inside into a ink okay we will put inside in the ink actually here in a pen one rubber rubber is there here one rubber is there and when you press the rubber 
by keeping the inside in the ink only when you press the rubber whatever the air particles present inside the pen that air particles will come out from the nib okay and when you will release this rubber by pressing after that when you release the rubber by releasing the rubber means whatever the air particles inside present that came out okay and it creates a region of low pressure and when it creates a low pressure here outside in a ink it it is having a region of higher pressure and as we know liquid always move from region of higher pressure to that of lower pressure so this ink also move from higher pressure to that of lower pressure means from this ink to the fountain pen so that is why we can easily fill the fountain pen with the ink Next, we are having rubber suction pads. Might be this kind of rubber suction pad you have seen in your daily life. Rubber suction pad, what they are doing when you just take the rubber suction pad and put on the wall by just uh, taking some force and we will put on the wall. What it will do? It will send all the air particles. It will send all the air particle from the wall outside. When it will send all the air particles from the out from this wall, then means it creates a region of low pressure. But from outside, atmospheric pressure is there. Means region of high pressure is there. So outside high pressure will tell means will force this rubber suction pad to stick on the wall. That is why this rubber suction pad can easily stick on a wall. Next, we are having lasers are able to adhere to the wall. Lasers are also able to move on a wall. Why they are able to move on a wall? Be actually, uh, these lasers are also doing the same principle as that of rubber suction pad. Here, these feet are also acting like a rubber suction pad. What they are doing when they are pressing their feet on a wall? Pressing the feet on a wall means they are sending all the particles what are present on the wall outside. Okay, they are sending all the particles of air particles outside means lizards are creating a low pressure here. Reason of low pressure, and from outside. from outside atmospheric pressure is there means outside high pressure is there so this high pressure will allow to move the lizard properly on a wall means it can stick to the wall easily okay next we are having fifth effect we are able to suck a cold drink so we we can easily suck a cold drink with the help of straw so how we are able to suck a cold drink with the straw see carefully actually whatever air is present in our mouth that air firstly we will move inside to our lungs means with the help of lungs we will take all the air particles and that air particles move away from our mouth means in our mouth region of low pressure is there then afterwards we start sucking start sucking means whatever air particles are present inside inside this straw also that air particles will also move to our like mouth and that air particles will also move to lungs means here in mouth also here in straw also both both of the conditions we are having region of low pressure but in this cold drink on this lime water we are having the region of high pressure because here pressure is more so as we know liquid always move from region of higher pressure to region of lower pressure so this liquid start moving from higher pressure to lower pressure into our mouth easily with the help of straw next effect of atmospheric pressure we are having astronaut wear a specially designed suit so astronauts always wear a specially designed suit when they have to move in a space why because as we moving to higher altitudes at the higher altitudes atmospheric pressure is less but our body blood is exerting same pressure on our body so to withstand with that change in that pressure in outside and inside the body they are wearing specially designed suit so that their body will may not crush when they are moving outside when they are moving to the higher altitudes next we are having atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in altitude as we know whenever we are moving to higher and higher altitudes their atmospheric pressure reduces when atmospheric pressure reduces see carefully actually our blood is producing pressure or exerting pressure on our body when outside pressure reduces here it is a region of low pressure but inside the body there is a region of high pressure and as we know liquids always move from region of higher pressure to region of lower pressure so blood start coming from our body and we are having one opening for on our mouth that is nose so blood start moving from the nose towards the outside means whenever we are moving to higher altitude their atmospheric pressure is less due to this less atmospheric pressure the blood start coming out from the nose to a person due to change in the atmospheric pressure 